Good evening, and welcome to The Current Headline. I'm Megan, and our top story tonight is the arrest of former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. Earlier today, Khan was arrested outside the Islamabad High Court after he failed to appear before the court on contempt charges. The arrest was made by the Islamabad police who were present at the scene. Khan's supporters, who had gathered outside the court, protested the arrest and tried to prevent the police from taking him into custody. Khan's arrest has sparked a strong reaction from his political party, the Pakistan Tehreek e Saf PTI and his supporters across the country. The PTI has condemned the arrest, calling it an attack on the democratic rights of the people. PTI leaders have also called for protests across the country to demand Khan's release. Khan's arrest comes at a time when he has been increasingly critical of the current government led by Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif. Imran Khan has accused the government of failing to address the country's economic crisis and of being involved in corruption. Khan's supporters believe that his arrest is politically motivated and aimed at suppressing his criticism of the government. However, the government has denied any involvement in the arrest and has stated that the law enforcement agencies acted independently. Khan has a history of legal trouble with several cases pending against him in various courts. In 2021, he was fined for violating COVID-19 protocols during a political rally. And in 2017, he was briefly arrested on charges of inciting violence during protests in Lahore. Khan's party, the PTIA, won the 2018 general election, and he served as the country's prime minister until 2021. He remains a prominent figure in Pakistani politics and has a large following among the youth. We'll continue to follow this story as it develops. Stay tuned for updates.